Yeah, I might, might have got about 20 minutes out of the first flight here. Uh, it kept showing magnetic interference in places where I've launched, like, solo forever. So I was kind of wondering if, if, it was, uh, if it was the lithium-ion pack that was causing it. But I unhooked it, and I hooked it back up, and it linked right up. But that's what, the, that's what this link-up time is. It's me moving the solo around. But I'm going to speed it up. This is recycled solo, uh, has 5.8 uh, camera uh, attached to it. Uh, right now it's got the GoPro Hero 7 attached to it. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't use a gimbal on this one. I just kind of fly it around FPV and mess around, put different things on it, lights. And just testing the battery, you know, like I'm testing John's battery right now. Yeah, uh, I'm timing it too. I'm not really sure how much time I flight time. This is the first flight with it. Like I said, I was getting that uh, magnetic interference, but I uh, went went away and, and and it did fly really nice.
could be a little you know, stretched out watching some of this footage, but the footage ain't bad for uh, GoPro Hero 7 does, does a nice job even with that window. Uh, yeah, let me compare it to the GoPro Hero 4 with the with the gimbal because it's, it's it's just different. I, I don't know if it's better or worse. I'm not sure. I don't even. Just, I think I think I got the GoPro set. This one set up. Both of them probably set up a 1080p. It's kind of where I keep them. Sometimes 2.7 on the GoPro Hero 4. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, it's, I'd say. 30 mile an hour gusts down here, 17 mile an hour straight winds. It's been like this for a week. Uh, so I've been flying, you know, I've been flying the heavier drones. Uh, so the solar's not a problem in, in heavier winds. Uh, I did have an issue in one of the other flights with the other battery, though, with this solar. I, I, th I think I came in contact with a kite string. Somebody flying a kite over there, and I didn't see it. Um, I'm not sure. It really acted goofy. Could have been the wind or did something weird. I, mean, I don't think so, though. I think I came in contact with a coach thing. But, uh, yeah, I just whirl around here. I think I got to go to another thing. I think the GoPro actually stopped recording and then, when, uh, and then started up again. I think it does that like every 15 minutes or something like that. I forget what it does. Or 11. I thought it was 11 minutes, but... I think it's, I think I changed it. But yeah, this is where I practice fly everything. Solo, I know, I know all the, all, all the boundaries. I know how far everything is. I cross the river is one solid mile from shore line to shore line. That's a Delaware River right there. Um, from, from, from where I'm standing to the fence is a thousand feet. So when I go over the fence, when I go into that, wood, that wooded area, I know, I know I'm at a thousand feet. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I have to, I'm gonna have to do the telemetry. I kind of just don't pay attention when I go down to what's called uh, Salisbury Hill, which is uh, an abandoned boat that actually floats down there. It's been down there for years, just sitting there floating. And, you know, it's on the ground at low tide, and then it's floating again at high tide. Salisbury Hill is the name of the boat that's written on the back. It's been there for years, so I'm going to ban it up there. I know that's a big problem, like, down the shore from here. I'm in Philadelphia, I'm in East Philadelphia. Uh, but down, like, in Wildwood and down a little bit further down in the, in the river communities down here where it starts to turn into salt water, uh, man, there's a, you know, the last five, six years, people have been abandoning boats like crazy to where it became an issue. People have been running into them, and they've been sinking them, and, it's, it's a mess down there, man. Everything kind of changed, man, with the pandemic. And, uh, a lot of people don't realize stuff actually changed with technology. It changed, it changed everything. And we just haven't caught up with it yet. Like we, we haven't really grasped it. I just think seven years ago, like, most of us here wouldn't even, couldn't even imagine we'd be doing even, even this flying around, you know, except for like probably the RC plane guys, which my dad used to take me here to fly RC planes when I was little. And, uh, you know, never never caught on. I didn't, I didn't stick with it or nothing, but he tried to get me hooked on RC planes. And now I, now I do fly RC planes down here, but uh, yeah, not as much. I, 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 I kind of mess with the solo. I'm, I'm, I'm working on a couple planes right now. Got the servos working and all. I'm trying to get the motors working correctly. A couple radio and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, but the solos are uh, not yeah, really incredible for me. I'm, I'm, I'm really glad I got on the platform. I I, I, I float so many different trains. This is. This is the Rolls Royce, I always say. It's the Rolls Royce of all the drones I've ever owned. I'm comfortable with it too. There's a lot of drones. I had bigger drones. Yeah, I'm, I'm very comfortable with, with, with this drone. That really helps when you're flying and you're comfortable. Yeah, so, 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 so
back to him. I'm just killing time here, guys, with just, just doing doing the the, the, the time on, on how long it flew on the first flight. Play soccer down here at ball fields. Uh, we do concerts every once in a while down here. We do Welcome America. I, I, I played the Welcome America thing down here. All right, so let me check. Let me change. That's what I was. Hopefully, it linked up. But yeah, this is uh, this is it linked up with uh, the next video, which uh, which is the same flight. This is the same flight, same battery. Uh, it looks like around 16 minutes, guys. I'm getting out of the first flight. Uh, landed. I did the the battery test. It's still like down there, like really low. It's weird. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll ask John when I get into the when I get into the group. It's what it came with. It came with these these, these real low numbers. Um, a little different. Not used to it yet, but uh, when I get used to things, I, I'll, I'll go ahead and fly them. At, you know, at will, or I put this this battery in my uh, solo with the gimbal uh, solo five. Recycled solo is like solo maybe three, I think. Recycled solo, I, I purchased uh, to do stunt flying with, and then I, you know, broke it and rebuilt it and broke it and rebuilt it. I, I wasn't any good at stunt flying. Let's, uh, let's just leave it there. I was doing flips with it and stuff, and the batteries flying out of it. That's what I was saying. Uh, you know, that the solo is going so fast that if you, if in some of the flips I would do down here, uh, there was there was a couple times it spit the battery right out of the tray midair. Yeah, that, that's, uh, let me see. And I, I'm talking the original battery with the clip in and everything, you know. Uh, never, I, you know, with these fasteners, I've it never took these type batteries out. But then again, I lost my nerve. I, I really don't fly this solo like that no more. I, I do different things. I have PV with it, test stuff, like I said. I don't... Uh, I don't fly to solo. I don't. I don't do flips or anything, or try to do flips or fly acro. Uh, a little bit of acro. I, I can't say I don't. I do fly a little bit of acro, and mess around, and just because it's it's it, it's pretty smooth even in acro. It's not that hard to fly. I mean, but once you start really pushing it up past like 50 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour is my cutoff point. So solo goes a little faster than that. Uh, yeah, it's it, it, I. I, I don't do too well, so I stopped doing it. You need to go to like in them higher speeds to do a lot of stunt flying, and 50 is about my cutoff point. After 50 miles an hour, I'm I'm, I'm a little uh, uncoordinated for that type of speed.